Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video. Uh, in this video, I'll be talking about Apache Spark Graphics. Apache Spark Graphics uh, is nothing but the uh, very important component of the Spark ecosystem. Uh, it extends the Spark RDD by introducing a new graph abstraction, a directed multigraph with properties attached to each vertex and edge. In simpler words, Apache uh, graph, uh, Graphics actually help us in analyzing the data right and uh, it help us in finding the relationships in the data like uh, it actually it is based upon the mathematical graph theory in which we can easily find the lot of stuff like uh, in degrees out degrees degrees right and other stuff so to, in today's example i'll be uh, making use of this graphics uh, uh, property or the graphics uh, component of the apache spark in order to find some kind of relationship in the dummy data the data which i'm using today is very simple one the data i can show you with the help of this note uh, word uh, this one document file in which i got four cities available mumbai delhi bangalore and hyderabad in which you can see they are connected with the directed uh, edges and uh, we have got total four vertices and we have got total six uh, edges right in this these numbers represent the uh, distance between the two cities let's suppose mumbai if you're traveling from mumbai to delhi the distance is 1394 if you're traveling from mumbai to hyderabad distance is 623 this is this is how we can interpret this uh, graph we need to uh, 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 trans we have to just transfer this information into my apache spark graphics shell right i'll be using scala for it uh, so we have some steps available in order to uh, represent this data using apache spark graphics so let's start with the uh, video today and in which i'll be uh, finding some information uh, based upon this given graph we try to find out some relationships in the data right so i've already have opened up in my uh, in my uh, laptop the scala you can see that this is the scala prompt which i opened up with the spark hyphen shell so uh, just to save the time i've already have written all the steps we have some steps written in my notepad file let me show you the steps the very first step we need to incorporate some uh, important uh, we can say libraries which we need to import first then only we can use the capability of apache spark graphics afterwards we need to find the we need to make the uh, array uh, we need to define the uh, array collection of uh, scala in which we need to define our all the cities with their uh, another this is one one property which i'm using today it's called a population here so the mumbai's population is this much delhi's population is this much and these are the uh, kind of vertex ids okay one l two l l represent long this is how we can how we represent data in a graphics okay so this is how we can uh, interpret like one l means it's kind of a serial number we can say but it's a, a vertex id and in this case the uh, mumbai is the city name and population is this much second city is delhi this population third city bangalore and fourth city is hyderabad afterwards we have a, a edges available we got total six edges that's why we can you can see the six entries here and this is how we can uh, interpret this information that from 1l to 2l what is 1l which have already have defined here mumbai 2l is delhi so from 1l to 2l the distance is 1394 this is how we can represent or like uh, interpret this information 1l to 3l 1l 4l means this is how uh, the information goes right afterwards we need to apply the parallelize method uh, using spark context to uh, create two rdds which is the basic data structure of apache spark okay one i'll be creating the vertex rdd one will be creating the edge rdd afterwards will be uh, i'll be generating the graph with the graph function which will be taking two parameters although we can also use three parameters third pa parameter is optional which is default vertex so in this case graph will be generated and on this graph we can run some inbuilt methods and functions like number of vertices a uh, number of edges right uh, in degrees out degrees degrees and we can also print the vertices edges and lot more information we can print let's start with the uh, video today and let's start uh, building up the uh, graph out of the given information in this uh, document file okay so let's start so this is the shell i'll be uh, simply uh, putting all this information one step by step into it so that you can easily understand what's happening in this graphics right so graphics is a very useful uh, uh, useful uh, component through which we can easily find the relationship we can easily uh, use it for some use cases like to find the follower information friends information who is a friend of whom right we can also uh, use the graphics for social media analysis right for finding some covid related analysis like 
uh, if if anyone is uh, suffering with the covid disease right and uh, we want to find the immediate contact okay so we can use it or we can also use it for snowball search so there's a lot of use cases of apache spark graphics okay so we already have imported uh, the all the important libraries afterwards let's now uh, generate the array for vertices this is the, my vertex array and in which one l i've already have defined the one this is how we have to represent information in the graphics l means long okay vertex id comma and in this we have a mumbai which is of the type uh, string and third is it is the type begin teacher we can say although in the scala we have a property available it's a having a type inference properties do not don't have to define the type uh, while using it right so again i'm uh, copying and pasting on my uh, shell so that we can uh, generate the array out of it you can see array got generated here so you can see you can see this is the property of apache spark uh, sorry scala which is which can easily uh, interpret the type okay it is called type inference property long comma string comma integer just see it i haven't defined but it's automatically recognizing what the type we are using followed by i'm um, let me generate the uh, array of the vertices or sorry edges also now after we have generated the uh, uh, array of vertices now the time to generate the array of edges okay it's done okay afterwards let's create the rdd out of it we, we all are aware that we have a two methods to create rdd uh, either using the uh, parallelize method or we can also generate from the external uh, file as well so let's uh, generate out of it let me copy it again it's copied and it's generated if i type all this information it will take time so just to save the time i'm just copy and pasting so that i've already have prepared it earlier so that it will be easy for you to understand so the the both the rdds has been generated and now let's create a generate a graph out of it by providing two important uh, uh, parameters vertex rdd and edge rdd as i already have said we do have a third parameter available but it's optional one so we don't have to use it which is default vertex so you can see graph has been generated now let's try to run some information let's try to uh, like find some information out of this graph so graph has been generated now let's try to find the number of vertices so we have a num vertices available let's call it and let's try to find the how many vertices we have generated although we are aware that we have a four vertices so let's prove it yeah you can see now it's working it's now giving us four it's all all good now we, we know that we have a total six uh, edges available we can also prove it with the uh, we have a method available which is num edges it's six it's working fine and let's try to find the in degree incoming edges okay we all are aware that in the mathematical graph theory we have a concept of in degree out degree degree in degree meaning is like incoming edges like for delhi for this one in degree meaning is how many edges are coming in okay you can see one only because all are going outside only one is going towards delhi it's called in degree okay so let's let's try to find the in degree of uh, this graph okay uh, let me uh, run it here you can see this is the one okay uh, for second we have one in degree for third we have a two in degree for four we have a three in degree what it means like uh, two represent the two means delhi okay i've already have written here this two represent the delhi so for delhi if i can see from this word file we have just one in degree so one in degree is there because only one uh, uh, edge is coming towards delhi other all are going outside for for one for first one there's no in degree you can see that from mumbai all the edges are going outward no nothing is going inward so that's why there is no one available in the result so that we can see like for two it's one for third we have a two for fourth we have a three four meaning is the fourth one the who's the fourth one hyderabad for hyderabad we have uh, three uh, incoming edges uh, let me check out from this uh, as well for hyderabad you can see one two three so it means everything is uh, coming here correct right in the same way we can also find uh, out degrees and degrees let's run it together so let uh, the things can be more clear okay i'm pasting it here let me copy it and let me paste it copy and let's paste it 
you can see we have got total now out, out degrees also what is degree degree is nothing but the combination or in degree plus out degree is equal to degree that's why we got this final answer right so this is uh, all information again we can also we can also find the information of triplets what is triplet triplet is nothing but the information combined with a vertex and edge it's the information combined in vertex and edge it's called triplet so triplet is nothing but the it's a combination of information we are getting from edges and vertices so let's try to uh, print the information of word triplets so how many triplets we are having in total which is six you can see total six right triplet is nothing but the information that we got now let's try to find information of all all this okay triplets edges vertices let's try to find the information uh, how many edges uh, means information of vertices edges and triplets let's try to find it for first vertices this is the vertices uh, one mumbai this watch two delhi three bangalore the same way and we can also find out for triplets as well so t r i p l triplets you can see this is the combination or information combined of vertices and edges is called triplet in total we got six triplet that's why we got six count here so we can also find some more information like uh, let let me some use case like i want to find the uh, those cities okay who has population more than this much okay i've given the inf value eight this much okay let's try to find in which i'm using a filter uh, as operator through which i'm trying to find the information uh, which has got more than this much of population let's see uh, what are those cities so mumbai delhi and bangalore falling in this category so what it means graph it's the uh, graph generated graph vertices dot filter uh, i'm putting my filter on the vertices now in which i i have defined the schema first id city population and i given the third one population uh, like it's kind of a where clause where population is more than this much so with the help of collect collect is a uh, action through which we print the information on the uh, screen here so this is uh, the collect is a important action of rdd so this is uh, how we got the information now let's try to put the filter on the edge in which we try to find the, the distance which is less than 700 and again i'm uh, going with the collect method so we got only this two uh, edges are available where the distance is less than 700 497 and 623 I hope guys from this short little video you must have understood the concept of graphics although it's graphics is very very vast uh, topic we, in which we got lot of functions lot of methods available so you can easily uh, take the uh, advantage of it to find some relationship of your data so thanks for watching guys see you next video